to start with my Fit Me by Maybelline foundation and a foundation brush. I recently had to throw away my beauty blender, so I'm using my foundation brush. We'll see how it goes. And so I'm just going to apply a thin layer of the foundation all over my face. I don't want it to be too cakey looking. Once I have that spread, I am using my Maybelline eyebrow pencil in light brown to fill in and shape my eyebrows. I use my finger to blend it a little bit just to kind of make any of the spots less harsh. Okay, next we're gonna use my Essence Primer for my eyes. And I'm just going to spread that on the lid and on up into towards the brow. This helps all of my eye makeup stay into place. Okay, next I'm going in with my Catherine Cosmetics palette. And I'm using the pink color in this palette because it's a nice shimmer. And I'm going to apply that over my entire lid. Then I'm going to use the dark brown shade to apply to the corner of my eyes and also into my crease to add a little more definition. Okay, then I'm going to apply my Essence Fluffy Clouds eyeshadow into the corners of my eyes and also onto the lid just a little bit and underneath my brow to add a little shimmer and a little lightness to my Mary Poppins look. Then I'm going back in with my Catherine Cosmetic palette and using their Soul blush and applying my nice Mary Poppins rosy cheeks. I love this palette because it's all about confidence. Um, confidence in your own natural beauty, confidence within your makeup as well, and the names of the makeup matches. It's pretty cool. To finish it off, I'm going in with their finishing powder and applying all over my face to set everything where it should be set. All right, for my eyeliner, I'm going to use my Liquid Scandalize Eyeliner. And I'm going to do my eyeliner a lot like I normally do it. So just following my lid just a little bit and then winging out towards the end. Nothing too dramatic, but just a little bit. Then I'm going to use my false lash ice. Oop, something on my other. <laughs> false lash mascara by Essence, and I'm going to apply a couple of coats to my eyelashes. I really like this one because it gives that fake lash appearance without actually wearing fake lashes. And to finish off my makeup, I'm going to use my lip color, or my Lip Sense lip color called Fly Girl, and I'm going to apply three coats of that. All right, now on to the hair. Okay, so we're going to need some bobby pins. We're going to need Lady Luck pomade, of course. We're going to need a clip just in case, a comb. And we're going to start by undoing all those rollers. And if you ever need to see how I set this, I can make a video on that as well. And so to undo these, I'm going to gently unwrap and then keep them kind of in that same shape as if they were still on the roller. Okay, so for this look, I actually have a fascinator that looks a lot like Mary Poppins' hat. 
So I wanted to see exactly where I wanted it to be. And so now I'm going to use my hands to just gently work through those curls to kind of break them up and get them out of their parted sections. So through the back I'm going to tease because I'm going to do a French twist and I need that foundation to uh, pin into. So I'm going to tease all the way down to the bottom. And then I took the back section from the front and pulled it all to the very back and I'm going to bobby pin straight up the middle. And I like to crisscross my bobby pins on the back of my head uh, when doing a French twist because it holds the hair a little more firm and then when we get to the next part it'll actually give you something to bobby pin to as well. Okay, and so for the next side, we're going to do something very similar. I'm going to figure out exactly where I want to pull the back from, or the front from, I mean. Going to smooth it over with my hand and start rolling it around those original bobby pins. And so now we're going to take the bobby pin, point it towards the head, and then push it in. It's kind of a twisting motion. Okay, once that feels secure, I'm going to run my Lady Luck pomade through my hands and then I'm going to run it through separate curls so to give them shine and dimension and also to cut down any of that frizz or flyaways. This will help when we start pinning the curls into place. I'm going to do this throughout the entire top of my hair. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and put that fascinator in because I'm going to start styling those curls around the hat itself. And so this part is the tricky, not really tricky part, but it's the part that's going to take a little more time because you're going to just start playing with the curls and see where you think they look best. Decide do you want them more forward, more back, however you want to do it. So for me, I decided to add some curls on the top of that French twist back there. And then I just decided to start pulling them all back and underneath the hat a little bit. Again, just using bobby pins to secure as you go. I should also mention I still have Lady Luck pomade on my hands. Um, I have found that that is great for keeping those curls from getting frizzy. And your hands feel super duper soft. Something to keep in mind as well is if you do try this style, one, send me a picture because that would be amazing, and two, your curls might not lay exactly how mine are. Um, everybody's hair is a little different and every curl is a little different. Just keep playing and moving as you go. Okay, and once you have it like you like it, let's move on to the other side and start pinning those much in the similar fashion. All right, adjust where you need to, smooth where you need to, add extra bobby pins where you need to, but this style is pretty much done. I actually only used the Lady Luck pomade for this one because I didn't want it to be hairspray crunchy, so it was perfect and it held all day long. And there you have it. For my whole look, my mom and dad actually sent me this adorable Mary Poppins dress from Disney World and it is actually super, super stunning. I added a red petticoat underneath and the little hat matches absolutely adorably and I also added cute red heels. 